Hello, everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for being here with me today. This video is going live Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to say I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that you all truly take time to focus on what you're grateful for. And I hope that you all get a break from work. I know that there are certain professions that don't get a break. I know that my children's father is a pediatrician and he'll be working. I know there's law enforcement that will be working, things like people like that or with professions like that. So I just wanted to say a special thank you to all of you who need to work on Thanksgiving to take care of us and keep us safe. So anyway, I will be going to my parents' house with the kids and Matt and we're excited about that. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. If this is your first video, I'm Lizzie. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm 41 years old. My husband, Matt, or Busy Matt, edits my videos. And I have a daughter, Addie, who is 14, and a son, Max, who is 17. And we just rescued a little 20-year-old dog, 20-pound tw dog, sorry. <laughs> he is two years old. And he is name his name is Diego. So anyway, hope you enjoy this channel. And we are going to be stuffing four hundred dollars today. But before we do, I want to show you what's on the other side of this piece of paper. Now, last week when we did this video, I got marker all over the table, and it's not coming out. So when I do move this, you'll see all the marker. But anyway, in honor of Matthew Perry. My daughter had wanted to make a savings challenge to put in the shop. And you guys know that she does all the digital savings challenges in the shop. She gets all the profit and she worked very hard on one. This was something that was close to her heart. So she spent a long time on it and it is a digital savings challenge, which is a tribute to Matthew Perry or Chandler Bing. So I am going to show it to you guys and hopefully we will get it in the shop tonight so that when you see this video, you'll be able to purchase it if you so choose to. And I don't want to show you, you'll see, I don't want to show it all to you, but I'll show you as much as I can. So I'm going to just put my hand over this. Basically, it's in loving me memory of Matthew Perry, Chandler's Bing's, Chandler Bing's best lines. And Addie did this all herself. I didn't she, this was something that was special to her, and so I decided not to do any editing, so she did this all herself. The Actually, the only thing I changed was she didn't have separated dots for each letter, and when people get stumped, you kind of need those lines. So, basically, it is 10 of Chandler's best lines, or what she thinks are his best lines, and there are one or two blanks in these, and you can, each letter can be a dollar, two dollars, or you can make this challenge your own and you can say each word is $2, each word is $5. You can do it however you would like. It was also her choice not to put an answer key with this. She really wanted people to think. And so if you are stumped on anything, either Google it or send me a message on Etsy and I'll answer it immediately with the answer. So I hope you enjoy doing this challenge. I'll probably be doing it on my channel. But anyway, that is the challenge. So remember to check out the shop. And we're going to go ahead and get the money we're going to stuff today. It should be $400 in here. I am going to try to do this video a little quicker than normal. And that's simply because I have a busy day today and I don't have a lot of time to film this. So if you hear me talking fast, that is why, but I really wanted to try to get back to my normal schedule, which is to get videos out on Wednesday, not Thursday. I really want to get them out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because pretty soon we'll also be able to have bonus Saturday videos when Matt isn't working as much. So let's go ahead and start counting. We have 50, 100. I'm going to put it aside while I do. 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, 80, 381, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 390, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 400. So we have $400. I'm so thankful that we have that amount to stuff today. And I'm going to pull this up a little bit. I want to make sure you can see all of the money. And we finished the Care Bears binder. And we're just going to have one binder to work with today. Before we do anything else, we are going to finish 
the save to give that we are on. So I have a jar that I made into, so it says save to give. We've been putting money in. We do this every single Wednesday video. We never skip one because giving is something that's very important to me. And this challenge is from Nita, the Almost Organized Owl. And she gifted this to me, but I believe it's in her shop or you can check out her channel and figure out how to get a freebie of it. We're gonna finish this today. So normally I roll dice to determine how much we're gonna put into this, but we're not gonna do that today. I absolutely want to finish this today. So I am gonna go ahead, I need, let's see, I think I need all four markers. So, but before I do that, let's figure out the money that we need to add to this. So each hand I was doing, I believe $5, and then each little icon was one. So we would have, let me get my pointer, we have five, 10, $15, and then there's five here. So plus five is 20, plus five is 25, plus five is 30, 31, 32. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, yes, 32. So let's do that right away. Let's take out $32 before I forget. And as soon as I'm done coloring, we will um, either add this to the jar or just empty the jar and count it and make sure that we had the right amount. So I'll put the money aside right here and I'm going to go ahead and color. And as soon as I'm done coloring this, I will see you back. Okay, we are finished with this and I'm so happy I changed the color from the orange to what I did, if you know, you know. So we're gonna add the money. I'm gonna put this aside now that it's finished. I think it looks so pretty. And we're gonna, we have the $32 here. I'm gonna empty this jar and just re remember, in, or in case you forgot or you didn't know, or this is your first video, um, this money is going to someone in my community who has just been on my heart for a long time. And I just felt like they really could use and would greatly appreciate being blessed with an extra $200 that was unexpected. So anyway, I'm not going to be able to show you. I'm going to just go ahead and sort this while I talk to you guys, but I'm not going to be able to show you that payment that I sent to them because I respect their privacy and it's a small world. I know I told you guys last Saturday, a restaurant that we went to when we were helping some friends move. And in the comments, some of you said, oh, I love that restaurant. So there are a handful of you who live in my neck of the woods. So, but I already did send them the money and they were very shocked. And they said that the day I sent it to them, something happened to their furnace and they needed to pay to get it fixed or they wouldn't have any heat. And the amount, the $200 I sent was just the amount they were short. So it turned out to be, it did turn out to be a big blessing to them. So I also just wanted to take a moment to just encourage you all. If you've never given before, maybe you just haven't thought of it or it haven't hasn't crossed your mind. Or maybe, let's see, or maybe you feel that you don't have enough to give. I would challenge you, even if you feel that your budget is so, so low that you that you can't give anything, I encourage you to try. Maybe it's a dollar, maybe it's $2. It doesn't have to be a big amount, but if you just give a tiny amount, it'll make you feel so good and it'll be such a blessing to that person and it, it will cheer you up. So let's count and see if we do have the 200 because I need to pay my savings back since I already had sent the money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. So we did count that correctly. And I think I am going to go ahead and show you guys. I think I have it. Let me see. I think I have it. Again, I wasn't didn't plan to show it to you or I would have had it ready. But I want to show you what we're going to use for the next save to give starting in the very next video next Wednesday. This is a beautiful savings challenge from one of my favorite, favorite, favorite newer Etsy shop peoplers. It's Carmen, the humble budgeter. And she 
um, has this in her shop, I believe for 180 and I really liked it. And whenever I see savings challenges, I love, I send them to Madeline and I showed her and Madeline said, Oh, maybe she can change it to 200 for you to, um, to, for your challenge, for the, your save to give. And I thought that was a great idea. And I told Carmen she didn't have to, I could give 180 or throw in an extra 20, but she was more than happy. And she sent this right away. And I'm so excited to be able to use this. So we're going to scratch these blocks of cheese. It's going to come to $200. And I did decide who this was going to go to, but you probably don't want to know. So I'll just wait to next week to tell you where this save to give is going to go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to tell you now. This person has no idea, and I hope that they're not mad at me, or I hope they don't mind or feel embarrassed, but I know with, with Diego, with him being so sick, and I know Tracy has had some very sick animals, and you guys know how, it, I'm sure a lot of you have experienced it. You know how it is and how expensive it gets. So whether they need the money or not, I want to help out with Lupin. So I am going to have this save to give for Ren, who her channel is Mischief Manage Budgets. She has another, she's another person who has an Etsy shop I'm obsessed with. You've seen me do tons of challenges from her on my Wednesday videos and other videos, but I want this money to be set aside for Lupin. They rescued him and he had a lot of health issues and I know health issues are very expensive. And even if they have the money to pay for it, I want to put this toward a savings for Lupin or to put towards his bills or anything Lupin related. And even if they don't, I'm not sure of their exact financial situation. And even if they don't need the money, I want to give it to them because I want to be a blessing to them. As I know, you all have been such a blessing to me and helping with Diego. So this save to give is for Lupin. So that's what's going to happen next week. We'll start that next week. And now let's move on. Before we start our Snoopy binder, let's go ahead and do our challenge from Carly. Um, Budget with Carly is her shop. And we have already filled a ton of these. So in case you haven't seen, I threw them all in this pouch last week, all of the finished ones, because I, I can fit this in my safe. And so then we just have a few left, or well, more than a few, but we might start doing more than one. I'm not sure. I really want to start fin finishing up challenges, but let's just go ahead and see what number we get. And this might be something we come back to at the end of the video if we have a lot of money. We'll see. But we're going to go ahead and scratch one like we normally do. I hope, oh, and I got a 30. Okay, I'm so glad I didn't say let's do two and then start with a different one first. And the second one I scratched was a 30. Okay, so I just wanted to say for those of you who are traveling for Thanksgiving, I hope that you have safe travels. I'll be thinking of you all. And I'm so excited to see my parents. I haven't seen them in so long. It's gonna be wonderful. So we'll put this 30 aside. And then really, you guys, we just have a couple things left or three things left. We have the Snoopy binder and we have these we have these books. So let's start with the Snoopy binder, but I'm not sure if we'll just have to go back and fill some a second time. I really don't know what to do. I don't know how much money we have left, but let's go ahead and start with, let's see. We're gonna start with, I did do a close up today. This challenge from Jen at Budget Determined. And this one we're, is the school one we're saving for my kids for school stuff. And there's a lot of money in their savings account right now. So I'm only going to scratch one on this. So because this isn't one I'm rushing to finish. Okay, so we got a 15. So we'll add 10 and 15 to this. And let's see. Okay, so I'm going to put this away. We're not going to count these today. Let's see what we have left. We have two in here. Let's skip to, we only have three challenges left in this binder. Let's finish this one right now, because why not? Let's just do it. So I'm actually just going to move the binder aside. And this is from Trina. Her Etsy shop is Budget by Number. We've been friends for a very long time. I love her challenges. I love supporting her. So before I color this in, let's count the money because I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. So let's see. You guys may not be able to see this, but I'll just count. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 21, 26, 
27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 42, 52. So I'm pretty sure I got 52. I'm going to double count it. And I just noticed, oh, I might have forgotten the tail. I don't, th this part doesn't have a number on it. So I got that one for free. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to count one more time. So let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 29, 30, 31, 32, 42, 52. Okay. So I believe it is 52. So I'll go ahead and start coloring and then I'll see you back when I am finished coloring. Okay, sorry that took me forever. Since I had an audience, I was trying to do a really good job and to go by the sticker, what the sticker was saying Bowser should look like. So anyway, we finished. So this should be $221. So let's see what it is. I know there are so many shadows. I'm sorry about that. But Matt told me I need to change the settings because I have a new phone. And he said if I change the settings, it should help. So I need to do that. But let's go ahead and add this money in. And let's see if this is if it came to 221. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 215, 16, 17, 18, 19, 220. So we were close. So let's grab a one and then we can call it 221. So now you guys know I've been finishing a lot of challenges lately, which I'm so grateful for. But I was going to tell you that my I'm but the next savings goal I'm working towards, which I'm sure you guys already know. Oh no, I found my red marker and I just put it back in my, oh, that's where that one was. It was just upside down. I just put it back in my big marker thing, but no, I need to keep it out. I need to keep that red marker out. So my next goal I'm working on, I, I think it's my very last financial goal for the year, but that is to um, fully fund my IRA. And all so all of these savings challenges are going to go into my what I call my rainbow binder, my Lisa Grateful Me challenge binder. But it would take hours and hours and hours and so many videos to show you guys me doing that. So I think what I'm going to do, Matt convinced me to go ahead and film it all, but then do a long video where it's all sped up. So you guys do get to see it just in a sped up fashion. So We'll see. Uh, I don't want you to miss me finishing that binder. So not that I'm about to finish it, but you know what I mean. So anyway, I'm going to do that at some point when I have time to film that, but let's keep going. So we still have some challenges from Janelle, some really cool challenges in here. So let's see. And we've got money. So let's go to Janelle's and maybe we'll go back to this one just so we can finish the binder. I don't know. We'll see. Oh no, I have a bunch in here from her. So this was a four pack, I believe. So we still have two left. Oh, this one's been in here for so long. It's stuck. Okay. So we still have these two challenges. So let's see, let's start the, we'll start the Tamagotchi one today. And I don't know how much of it I should do, but again, we can always come back because we still have plenty of time. So let me know in the comments if you had one of these um, when you were growing up. I, I remember I was in my freshman year of high school when I had one, so it must not have come into the picture until about then, or maybe that's when I can afford one, I don't know, but um, I was definitely, because I remember playing it, and I remember I was playing it in social studies, and I remember the classroom and the teacher, so I know it was ninth grade, so I don't know how much I want to put toward this, you guys, but let me scratch a little bit more. Okay, I guess I'll stop there. I did not scratch them all the way for sake of time and sake of my wrist. So let's go ahead and count. We owe 12, 
13. Let's see, 11, 11 is 12. 12 times two is 24. So 12, 13, 24 plus six is 30. 35, 36, 37, 38. Let's do one more. 38, 40. There we go. It's almost like I knew that that's what that was, but I didn't. Okay, so we did more than half on that. So let's go ahead and we'll put the $40 in here. We'll put the the Game Boy in there and maybe we'll come back to this. We'll see, but let's go. We, we want to do our challenge binders too. So let's do those and then see how much we have left. But I'm thinking next week, this video is going to be really short because we just have a lot of scratching to do. So let's do the Parent Trap binder first. This is from T um, Jamie with Budget with a Teacher, sorry. And we finished that really expensive big challenge last time. So we're going to start the summer one today. And so we shouldn't have any, yeah, we don't have, we have no money in there. So let me, what did I just do? I put my scratcher tool away. Okay. So let's do some on this and we still have a lot of money to work with. So I'll probably do a good chunk of this. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Let's see. 20, 40, 55. I'm going to stop here at 55. And again, I'm so sorry, you guys, but I'm not going to scratch these because I'm trying really hard to give my wrist a break so I don't have pain again. So let's just stop there. You guys know this kills me too, though. So 55. So we'll put the 55 in here. And again, we might come back to this. I don't know, you guys, but let's... Um, I love the cover. It just brings back so many good childhood memories. So let's go to our friend's book from Mari at Budgets Budgets in, Ch in Chaos. I'm sorry I'm tripping over my words today. I don't know why. I think this is the marker I was using. I definitely want to finish this challenge. So to finish it, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So let's take out 45 right away. Take out some ones. One, two, three, four, five. Since we have them, we may as well take them out. Okay, I'm going to finish coloring this and I'll be right back. Okay, so that came out pretty good. We're going to take the money out of this and it says it's 125 when it's finished. So let's see if that's how much we have. Or we'll see if we're a dollar short like the last challenge. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 125. So that is correct. And I usually put a sticky note on this because I hate it when I forget what challenge it was. So let's, I am going to go ahead and oh, grab two and I'm going to put... Um, I'll just write pivot. <laughs> okay, so then I'll remember what that's from. It's so funny because I knew this would happen. When I first started this binder, we went so many weeks without finishing any challenges. And so in my mind, it felt like I wasn't saving anything. And maybe you guys feel that way too. And now that we started all these challenges at the same time, we're ending them all at about the same time. And now it's like, boom, 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 boom. We're just finishing tons every week. So it's very encouraging if you can stick with it till the end. So let's see what we have left in here. We still have three pages. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and let's start this one. Let me just scratch a few. Let's see. These are smaller ones, so I'll scratch the whole thing. They're a little easier to scratch on my hand. So we have 20, 30, and then... We'll do one more, I think. We'll do this one. 37. Okay. And that way it'll be started for next week. Okay, that won't come off, but that's okay. So 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so now we're all done. I think I would like to... I don't know. I think I want to try to fill a couple more envelopes from Carly. So let's do that. Oh, you guys, 
I forgot, I usually, I like to do my binder with, let's, let's get personal, the one I do in my shop, but it's upstairs and I'm downstairs. And if I go upstairs, Diego will be so excited and think I'm done down here. And I don't want to do that to him. So I'll just let him continue napping and we'll just do that next time. So, but I've been enjoying doing that. Okay. So now when I have leftover money, I get the one, you guys know how that is. But that's okay. At least we're filling up another envelope. And so let's go ahead and put a $1 bill in there. And then I think I will go ahead and do another one. And it's funny, if you guys remember when I was feeling sick, I just was not having motivation and not wanting to film. Well, now that I'm feeling better, I am really enjoying filming again. I just feel like even though you guys aren't here at the same exact moment, I know you're gonna watch and I do feel like I'm sitting here hanging out with you guys, talking to you and it's just so nice. So thank you for being there for me and supporting me and watching all my videos. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I know I'm weird, but I do like to, I do want to put the exact amount in and not just stick in a 20. And it's mainly because I don't know the total. So the total is going to be a surprise no matter what. So if that makes sense to you guys. So let's go ahead and put this in here. These are so durable. I don't have to worry about them breaking, which is really, really nice. Let's do one more. I might have to make change to get more ones, but let's do one more of this. I'm probably going to end up with an, an IOU today, guys. Ooh, and I got a 25. My goodness. That's all right. We got it. Without doing Madeline's Mountain, I feel like we're having a lot more, what's it called? Um, um, a lot more money to play with. So let's, um, I have an idea. Let's stop here on Carly's. Let's treat Janelle's other challenge as like, like it's a new envelope. So let's, even though we haven't finished the other one, let's start this one so we can get this one going. So let's put a little money on this one. And again, I'm probably not going to scratch it all the way. So I'm sorry, but I'll count with you. So we have four plus five is nine plus eight is 17. 17 plus nine is 26. 26 plus 11 is 37. 37 plus 6 is 43, I believe. No, 47 plus 6 is 53. All right, let me stop and recount this. Okay, 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 19. 29. 39. 37. 43. Okay. Let me get out the calculator. I know I had it handy just in case. Okay, so we'll do six plus four plus five plus nine plus 11 plus eight. I can't, I can count good, but not on camera. So let's do one more. We have 43 and then perfect plus seven is 50. So 40, 45. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. 45, 46, 47, 48. You guys, we have an IOU. I didn't want to. I wanted to put money in my nephew's challenge. Oh, all right. Let me look at my messy thing if I have my IOU slips. Oh, you guys, <laughs> I didn't want that to happen, but it did. Oh, man. Okay. So we owe $2, and that's okay because it happens. These, these, Beautiful slips are from Mama Bear, Budget with Mama Bear. You can pick them up in her shop. I believe she still has them. So let's go ahead and we'll put, I'm going to put the IOU on this. I know we'll get to it next week because, you know, we, and I'm just going to mix the money together. No, I'm not. Yeah, I think we'll finish them both next week. Let me, let me, I'll put this in front and I'm just going to mix the money together. But I love Janelle's challenges. I noticed she still has the set with the Rubik's Cube and Trolls and all that. And, but I still have, what, four more binders to do. So it's hard having self-control, you guys, sometimes, but <laughs> sometimes you got to do it. So, okay. So we have now used up all the money. We are done with all the challenges we're going to do. We finished two today. We finished the Bowser challenge for 221. Oh, I didn't write on this one. I think it was 125, you guys, wasn't it? 
Wasn't it 125? All right, now I have to look. Let's see. Where's that orange? Yes, it was 125. So we finished two challenges today, which is awesome. I just want to say thank you all so much for taking the time to watch and to cheer me on. I can't wait to hear what you did for Thanksgiving and how everything went. And remember, Friday is Friday morning. I'm going to put, it's already, it, okay, let me back up. I have already filmed the video. It's Matt has already edited it with me and it's already scheduled to go up. So it will definitely be up Friday morning at 5 a.m. my time, which is the time I always put up my videos um, when they're scheduled ahead of time. It is a bill exchange. So it is a really fun bill exchange video. So make plans to watch it sometime this weekend. Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you all so much. Bye.